Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you guys are doing really fantastic. And so we're going to be talking about our systems out there. We've got Hurricane Lee, Tropical Storm Margo, also a newly highlighted area, and our Invest 97L, which is going to become Nigel very soon. And before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so, and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Okay, so here we are returning to the satellite imagery. There we can see Lee up there. So it is transitioning into an extra tropical cyclone. That is why it has this appearance. We've got Margo trying to sustain whatever is left of itself out there. So again, it has been downgraded to a tropical storm. There we have our Invest 97L looking as though it is thriving, trying to become a tropical depression very soon. And there's that blob southwest of the Cabo Verde the Islands, not marked as anything to watch over the course of the next several days. But uh, we'll see what happens. And there is a new area which is highlighted off the African coast and models are showing something pretty interesting that this might want to make its way on that continuous westward track could it be a problem for the Caribbean so we're gonna be talking about that later down in the video but uh, as for the Caribbean region right now here we can see that there isn't much happening uh, maybe a couple of passing showers and overcast conditions across sections of Leicester and Lees going from parts of Anguilla down to maybe Grenada nothing much happening for Trinidad Tobago and Barbados this morning. Similar story, ABC Islands remains in the clear and we see some activity down in parts of Panama and Colombia and also other sections of Central America and so it's going to be another hot and dry day across most of the Caribbean and surrounding areas, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, but then of course uh, that uh, daytime heat and might induce some showers and thunderstorms for some areas not many of us and so let's go ahead and now talk about hurricane lee so here we have the hurricane and uh, we've got that tropical storm warning still in effect for bermuda as those tropical storm force winds are likely still happening there maybe some stronger gusts at times but it is still sustaining those peak winds of 85 miles per hour and is accelerating up to the north at 16 miles per hour so as we head into tomorrow afternoon it could be become a post-tropical cyclone on approach to parts of Atlantic Canada, New Brunswick, also for Nova Scotia. So uh, those uh, strong tropical storm force to hurricane force winds could even be felt in Maine. So we've got that hurricane watching effect and that tropical storm warning for much of New England heading to the southern portion of New Brunswick and also for Nova Scotia. So we see that the system here is likely to bring these tropical storm conditions, uh, that heavy rainfall, those gusty winds, even that storm surge, which is that coastal flooding or inundation is likely. And so please stay safe, guys. Please listen to your local officials, just as I have been uh, emphasizing in my updates. And as for Bermuda, that tropical storm warning should soon be discontinued as Lee moves further up north and uh, it is no longer a problem for the island. But now let's go ahead and move on to our disturbances out there. So firstly, we're talking about 97L, again, expected to become Nigel soon, and we can see here that the formation chance is high. This is going to be staying out to sea for the most part, but some models want to take the system a bit close to Bermuda. So as we're going to be heading into the latter part of next week, we want to watch for potential impacts to the island. No guarantee at this point in time, but we definitely have to keep watch out there. And as we look at the system on these satellite imagery, there we can see it is producing some uh, decent thunderstorms out there. It's got some decent activity going on. So it has been taking advantage of the conducive environment it is in. And here we have it trying to develop into a tropical depression sooner rather than later. And so uh, let's see what's going to be happening with it through today. Let's move on to this new area. 20% chance of scene development. It is newly identified this morning. And so we should have this system, another tropical wave making its way from the coast of Africa. And as it does so, moving on a westward track it could try to get itself together and let's go ahead and take a look at what some models have to show so we're beginning with the gfs we're looking at three of them the gfs the canadian model and also the icon model so gfs is expecting that as we're going to be heading into uh, sunday the 24th of the month not this coming sunday the following sunday there we're going to have that system out there. So what would be Nigel would have made its way out. And then there we have those high pressure systems reinforcing themselves and that system out there, 997 millibars, likely a compact tropical storm at this time. But take a look at the Western Caribbean as well. So if you guys remember from previous updates, 
I've highlighted that the Climate Prediction Center uh, wants to show that we could see something develop in the Western Caribbean in the latter part of September, going to the early part of October. And so here we have GFS showing this. It has been on and off about something potentially forming in the Western Caribbean, so we'll definitely have to look out for that. And another system that models have been pointing out, so we're going to be going on to the others, of course, but there we have that trough in the vicinity of the Bahamas and also Florida. And then as we head to Tuesday the 26th, here we have the system making its way through uh, the western side of Cuba heading into the Gulf and then eventually it would make landfall along the Gulf along the Gulf Coast, likely Florida in this case here. And there we have that intensifying system, likely a hurricane out there. We see that pressure of uh, 978 millibars. Very interesting. So let's move on to the Canadian model. And here we can see that the Canadian model is expecting that we will have two systems out there. So again, after the passage of what would be Nigel, we have that tropical wave moving off, maybe another one behind it trying to develop as well, but that one looking as though it wants to stay out to sea. And we see that pressure of 984 millibar so canadian also expecting that we might have a potential hurricane at this time as we head to monday the 25th of uh, uh, september and then the icon model shows a rather interesting interaction here maybe some leftovers from a frontal system trying to consolidate into something in the vicinity of the bahamas and florida but take a look at that out there in the main development region we've got these two low pressure systems interacting with each other so this is very interesting to see we've got canadian and gfs expecting that hey we could see something actually develop out there and move on that westward track potentially being an issue for the Caribbean and we do not need a tropical storm or hurricane here but it has been very very dry for a lot of us this September has been uh, producing below average rainfall why because the tropical waves that would move in are developing and making their way up to the northwest so with reduced tropical waves entering the region we find that there is below average rainfall activity but who knows October could be a very wet month and so now let's go ahead and also talk about euro so we want to look at euro as well and here we have it so the model is showing that as we head to sunday the 24th again that system in the vicinity of the bahamas and also we see development out there in the atlantic but euro showing that this might want to remain out to sea but of course guys i'm going to be keeping you posted on all of these uh systems as they develop so we want to watch two areas the vicinity of the bahamas and florida again leftovers from a front might try to develop into something and it's really been just the GFS trending towards a potential Caribbean storm. So we'll, we might want to pay attention to the basin as well. But that next area is, of course, the main development region where we actually have that newly highlighted area for that tropical wave that should emerge maybe as we head into the early to mid parts of the new week. And so, guys, that is pretty much it for this update. I hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And as always, remember to both eyes.